Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we're going to be making a very, very simple stretch bracelet and a pair of earrings using one of the Jessie James Beads new spring collections, Dogwood Blooms. Okay, um, so first of all, our encouraging word for today is regrets belong to the past. That is the truth. Okay, so this is super quick and simple, and this is how easy it is to take one of these mixes and turn it into a bunch of pieces of jewelry, okay? We're gonna actually make two stretch bracelets and a pair of earrings. We're going to be using two, three, number three crimp beads, the Dogwood Blooms mix. Um, I've got a few hanger bells here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if I'll use all of them or not, but we've got those. They're just a regular hanger bell. And then um, we have two eye pins, and two fish hook ear wires for our earrings. Okay, so this is so simple. I've taken my stretch cord. Now this is um, Beadalon stretch cord, and it is one millimeter, and I've taken it and just stretched it a little bit, warmed it up in between my fingers. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bead on it. So as you can see, this mix has so many beautiful little charms in here. So it's got these, it's got these leaves, and then over here for the earrings, it has another set of, so it had four of the leaves. It had two pink flowers and two white flowers and then um, the butterflies. So I'm taking the white flowers and the leaves and we're gonna use those for the earrings. The rest of them we're gonna use on our bracelets, okay? So for our first bracelet, we're just gonna start beading. So I'm gonna put one of these hanger bells on first. Now these are gonna be really good for um, number one, hiding our knot, and number two, hanging some of these charms from. And then I'm just gonna start adding on some beads. So let's do this bicone. And I'm not really going in any specific pattern or anything, I'm just putting them on. Let's see. What do I wanna do next? There's such a variety. <laughs> It's hard to choose sometimes. Let's go with this guy. And you just bead this up according to how big your wrist is. So you want to have it stretch a little, obviously, and not be, you know, so you can go a little bit smaller than your actual wrist if you want to, because it'll stretch, but you don't want to go too much smaller. I usually hold it up and just put it where it's comfortable on my wrist. So I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this one on. I love those sparkly ones. Okay, now I'm going to do another hanger bail. So that's two of them. This is pretty. Let's put this one on over here. And how about a pearl? Okay. Um, this pink disco ball bead is pretty. I'd kind of like to put it in the bead caps. You get so many beads in these mixes. I mean, it's just really a great, great amount of beads. Let's see, let's do this gold guy next right next to that bale. And how about this barrel bead? Uh, let's do, let's see, let's take this guy off, do another hanger bale. I'm just trying to kind of evenly space them and then put this guy back on. They don't have to be perfect, but I'm just kind of trying to evenly space them out. <laughs> We're going to be hanging the charms from them. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, let's see. How about a pearl over here? I love these pearls. They're so cute. And how about one of these metal beads? Okay. We could do one of these smaller ones. And 
I'm just trying to kind of evenly place them. How about this guy here? Okay, now if I wrap this around, I'm going to put another hanger bell in there. But see, I can see that this is pretty close to the size of my wrist. I still need to add. I'm going to add the hanger bell. So where'd it go? Here's another one. Okay, so like this. And if I hold that together and put it on, you can see that it, it's pretty close to what I need. But I may go just a couple more beads just so it's not too hard to stretch. Let's put this guy on. And another of these little guys. And that is probably all I need because my wrist is little. Yeah, that'll be plenty big for me. I could put one more bead probably and get away with it. I love to use as many of the beads as I can because they're so pretty. Let's try this guy. And I might do one of these little spacers. Okay, now that I know is going to be, yeah, that's definitely big enough. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to get to a hanger bell. So I'm just going to scoot these down, these ones that are on the other side of that hanger bell. I just want both of my ends here. So this one coming out of it, and then this one's going to tie up, and it'll just go into it. So I'm just going to tie a knot, regular overhand knot first. Now you want to kind of stretch, you want to pull this tight because you don't want there to be any space between the beads, but you don't want it to be crazy tight. So just, you know, don't go nuts with it, but make sure that you don't have a lot of space in between your beads or anything. And then I'm going to do a surgeon's knot, which is going through this one, the loop twice. Okay, tying it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the crimp bead. I am going to put it over both strands of my cord and bring it down here to the knot. Okay? And then I'm just going to take my flat nose or chain nose pliers and I'm very gently, I'm moving it just out from the knot just a little. I don't want it right over the knot, but I'm just going to very gently press it down. Now pull on that, make sure it doesn't slide. You don't want it to slide, but you don't want it so tight that it cuts your cord either. And then just trim your cord off and pull it right up inside this hanger bell. Okay? And there you have your perfectly knit hidden little knot and it has an extra little security with that crimp bead. Okay? So now we're gonna hang our charms on. And we do need some jump rings for this that I failed to pull out. So grab some jump rings. I've just got some little, those are too small. There we go. Some little six millimeter jump rings. And we're going to go ahead and we're gonna hang our charms on. So you can just decide where you want them to go. So I've got four hanger bells on here. I could have done six or eight or however many I wanted, but I just went with the four. So I think I'll do them right about like that. Actually, I kind of want to save. Let's take this one and this one. So I'm just going to do one per hanger bale on here, okay? And I'm going to save a couple of the others for my next bracelet, and I'll show you why. So, whoa, these are the strong. I forgot about these. These jump rings are, like, so thick. I don't know where I got them, but they are super thick jump rings. All right, we're just gonna hang these on. Just hang it right on your... These are really hard to get closed and open, but they are thick, so I feel like they're very secure on there. There we go. There's one. And we're just gonna hang all of our little, or four of our little charms on here. These are the prettiest little mixes. I love them. They're just beautiful. There's two. And you could hang, if you wanted to hang one down a couple, you know, you could put a couple jump rings on there and make it dangle down a little further. I'm not going to do that. I'm just doing one, but you could if you wanted to do that. I'm trying to make sure it hangs on here the right way. It's not going to really matter. I mean, you 
you kind of want them the butterflies especially facing the front and the flowers but you know you can flip it over on your arm but you want them all kind of facing the same direction so the, the fronts will show and I just didn't get that on there did I there we go oh my goodness yeah these jump rings are they're secure but man they are a little bit stiff. All right, now there's the fronts of my butterflies. I'm gonna make sure I get the front of that flower. Okay, and let's just, and again, this is the Dogwood Blooms mix for spring. It is so pretty. Here is our first little bracelet. There we have it. Let's just put this on. So, so cute. Look at that. With your little charms, and it's just adorable. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to make another one. I'm going to show you how quick and simple this is. So, I'm just using the one hanger belt on this one. So, I will need to make sure that both of my ends um, come together where it is. So, I'm just going to beat it up first, okay? So, I'm going to take my beads here and just start putting them on. Okay, so we'll do this guy. This is going to go quicker because it's just simple stringing them on. And you could make, they have so many of these beautiful spring mixes. I mean, you could make like you could mix and match them all and make tons of stacking, oh, stacking bracelets. How fun would that be? Okay, let's put this guy on. I love these. They're so pretty. Get this one on for sure. I love the sparkle in him. Okay. Go this pink disco ball. And I'm just kind of keeping conscious to where my ends are, so, like, I don't want to put, if this disco ball is close to the end of this, I don't want to put this one close to the end of this. I'm, I'm trying to keep conscious of that as I'm beating this up. So I've still got a few more to get on. And remember that you do need to leave room for your hanger bail. That one's got... Something in the hole. I'll just grab a different one for right now. You could take your beading all and poke that out. It's just where it was painted or glued or created. <laughs> Whatever it was. Alright. So let's do a barrel bead. And a metal bead. Now I have to remember to leave room for my hanger bell. So here's what I do. I just hold it together right there, put it on. I could put a couple more beads and then my hanger bell, and I would be okay, I think. So let's see. We don't have a pearl around here anywhere. And how about, how about this other pink bicone? I, I like the pink bicone. I may put him on this end right here. Yeah, so that'll be, I can probably add one more small bead, and then that'll do it. Let's add this guy, because he's just a, he's a spacer, but he's small. Okay, I don't want it to go, see this one may go, well, it won't go up in there, but I thought it might, so let's actually add it to, let's add this guy, and then we'll do our hanger bill. So same thing, I'm just going to take it, tie my knots tight, but not, you know, you want it, you don't want there to be space between the beads, it's a stretch bracelet, but yet you want it not to look like you've tied it too tight. Okay, so there's a regular overhand knot, 
And I'm going to do my surgeon's knot where I go through once and twice with my tail and pull that tight. I'm going to take both strands of my stretch cord, put them right over or right through the bead here, a little crimp bead. If you have trouble getting your second one through, you can kind of take your crimp bead and do this with it and then stick it through. Now, you do have to have like a size three crimp bead. I mean, don't try to do this with a one or it's probably not going to work. With a one or a two, it's going to be really hard. So, because this is one millimeter stretch cord. Okay, so then coming up just a tad from my knot, I'm just going to press that down. Press firmly. You want it to be firm, but you don't want to cut your cord, so don't go crazy with it. Okay, we're going to take it and squeeze it right into our hanger bail. There's our bail. Now we're going to take our two little charms here. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put the leaf on like this, right on my hanger bail. And then I'm going to take this guy and maybe, well, I was going to dangle it from two, but I think I'm just going to do the one. I think it'll still be good. It'll look good just with the one. And I'm going to put it right on here as well. And here is my super cute little bracelet. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? My goodness. And you can just stack it with this one. How pretty. Just beautiful little bracelets. You could even do it, you know, if you wanted the charm part to be somewhere else. Or this charm up by that one. Look how cute. Adorable. Okay, now I'm going to show you. And look at all the beads we had left over. These are all left over. Not these hanger bells. But these are all left over from the mix, so, you know, <laughs> and all these ones that I'm using in the earrings. So the earrings are super, super fast. I mean, they don't, I don't even know if they're deserving of a video, but we're going to do it. <laughs> so we're going to take our rondelle, our rhinestone, or our, uh, I don't know what that bead's called. It's really cool. And our rhinestone bead. We are going to bend 90 degrees, just like this. And I didn't pull out my cutters or my round nose pliers, which would have been really good to have. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to cut this off. I do this about half my fingers, or a little less than my fingers width. That's just how I figured out to find the size of the loop that I like. <laughs> um, and then we're going to grab it with our round nose pliers. And we're just going to roll this loop back. Okay, so there it is. Going to hang my shook on. Just like this. I love, actually, I'm going to do it this way. I love the sparkle of these beads. I want that rhinestone bead to show really well and... I wanted to hang the white flower closer to the pink bead than this um, this white bead up here. So that's why I'm doing that. And then we're just going to take our little charms. Oh, I'm so sorry. I bumped the, bumped the camera, didn't I? I'm going to put my leaf on here. Now, especially with the flower, it is really important that you get the front facing the front. So I'm just going to take another jump ring. These stiff, stiff, thick jump rings. <laughs> and I'm going to put the flower on here on my jump ring. And then I'm just going to make sure that when I hang it on here, that it hangs correctly. If not, it looks like it's going to, but if it's not, then I need to add another jump ring. Like if my, if it was going to hang on the back for some reason, oh my gosh, those jump rings are incredibly strong. Okay, so there we have it. So, so 
cute little earring. So check these bead mixes out. They are the new spring mixes from Jesse James Beads. They are absolutely beautiful, and there's several of them. There's this dogwood one. I mean, there's just all kinds. You just have to get on their website and look. And I will link their website in the description box below this video, um, and you can check them all out. I do have a coupon code that is good until May. It is Whitman10, I believe. I'll link it as well. I'll put it in the description box, and that'll get you 10% off your entire order at jessejamesbeads.com. So you definitely want to check that out, especially if you're going to buy a few of these little spring mixes. They are so, so cute. So that's how easy it is to do <laughs> the stretch bracelets and little earrings. They're so simple, so quick. And you could get these um, bead mixes in someone's favorite color, I mean, or I don't know, whatever. There's just so many different... Um, little mixes available and you could customize these for people how much fun they are to make and they're so simple quick so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm just finishing up this last little um, little guy here we're gonna hang him right in here and there we have it absolutely beautiful springy um, happy now see this one I do have so it's twisted the, the wrong way so what I want to do with that instead of adding another jump ring I'm gonna grab right here at the top so this is the way that I need it to hang so I need these guys to be twisted so I'm gonna take this bottom part and I'm not gonna move my top part I'm only gonna spin my bottom part and I'm just gonna spin it around until my charms hang the way that I need them to which is right like that and then when I let go there they are okay so super quick and simple and absolutely adorable little set of earrings and stretchy bracelets so much fun so I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, please like it and subscribe to my channel and check out jessejamesbeads.com and I will see you in the next video bye Thank mm -hmm. you.